from Riga. I didn't know I was going to visit what was gonna be my favorite city in the world. On my way there, I could only enjoy the beautiful roads with forests surrounding it. The minute we arrived, I felt like I was in a movie scene. Meandering down the town's cobbled streets, we came across plenty of charming buildings. My press trip to Cesis was organized by Magnetic Latvia with other bloggers from around the world. We started our visit with the History Museum and a medieval castle. The new castle was built in the 18th century by Count Sievers. I leapt through time to the past the minute I entered and started imagining that I lived here. We started our visit with the kitchen, where the servants spent most of their time on the ground floor. And it looked like a kitchen out of a movie or an anime, with its beautiful details. Our guide from the CSIS Tourism Board explained that the castle didn't only have political, military and economic importance, but it also served as much a place of residence for the religious community of the order. The history was so much fun to learn. The medieval castle that we will see later was built by the Livonian Brothers of the Sword. Great German order of Teutonic Knights. So there is no relationship between Protestants, Illuminati and Knights Templar. No relationship. Whatsoever. One of the greatest tragedies was the mass suicide of 300 people that didn't want to give up when Ivan the Terrible tried to conquer the castle in the 16th century. And even though his army bombarded the castle for five days, the castle that was built by the Germans still stood and people chose to die that day. Oh my god. I mean, you know I love castles, I love all the movies. The view is amazing. <sighs> the stairs, you know, the carpet is blue. I love it, I love view. And I'm gonna show you the rooms. I could, I could really live here. Oh. Another amazing view. Imagine waking up and having your breakfast here, like, it's so amazing. And the view, like, you would read, watch a movie while it's raining or snowing. My God, look at this. Amazing, amazing. Sisis in Latvia in general by far is one of my favorite destinations and it's a must visit. The history is just amazing. The architecture, music, nature, and food that we will see later on. All of this makes it incredibly beautiful. My favorite part in the new castle is the library because of the hidden stairs. Who wouldn't want to have these in their houses? I mean, just close your eyes for a moment and imagine living here. We went afterwards to the top floor in these beautiful wooden stairs. So you have the view on the whole city. And of course, the view on St. John's Church which is the largest medieval basilica outside Riga. And then, it was time to leave the new castle. Guys, I'm basically crying. The tears are just coming down my face because it's very cold. I'm not used to this. <laughs> and yeah, so no, right now we went from this kind of new castle and we're going to the old one. And uh, it really feels like, uh, you know, in uh, an old movie. And I, oh my God, I love it. Look. Exploring the ruins of the medieval castle by candlelight is truly one of a kind experience. And so it was more than a simple visit, with an adventurous spirit. Like I said, the castle was built by the Livonian Brothers of the Sword. I was overwhelmed as I went inside. We started our visit with the most important room in the castle.
Alright, good. So there is a hand raised on the left side so you can hold on and don't fall off. This place is where the leader of the order lived, where he slept, where he worked, where he took his guests. This was a multi-purpose room. In one, in one corner of this room. It was very cold, but back then there was an incredible smart heating system that kept the whole castle warm during the cold days. The castle was bombarded several times and it stood still. Of Ivan's uh, bombarded this castle four days and four nights. After this, the castle still has survived two wars, and still this place stands as it is. So, guys, we are done with the two castles, and right now we're gonna have lunch. And uh, it's freezing cold, but I'm not complaining. I mean, apparently it gets colder here. So yeah, nice. We had a quick walk before lunch. The cold is apparently very good for your skin, ladies. So this was pretty much enjoyable. The restaurant is located on the sixth floor of the concert hall. Decoration is beautiful. And the view is something else. Latvian bread is by far the best bread I have ever eaten. You guys, the bread is great, the butter is great, and tomorrow we're gonna have a workshop about uh, how to make this beautiful bread. Mm. Food was really delicious, but my favorite part was dessert. The caramel cranberry cake is out of this world. Make sure to order it. And then we had a tour in the concert hall. We're having an amazing tour. Like we had um, lunch on the same building. Uh, there's, I don't know, music classes. It's like high school for music. And look where we are. Acoustic. It's, it, it it's everything works for the perfect acoustic okay. to be the. As I said before, this is a acoustic concert hall. This is International musicians play classical music in this very same place. The way it was built is just amazing. We even had the chance to attend rehearsals. morning tour, morning slash uh, afternoon tour and uh, we're going now to... No, I don't. I you will see know. where we're going. Everyone! Hi! Where are we going? Where are we going? We're, we're gonna have just a cable. The sauna thing? <laughs> but isn't there something <laughs> else first? No, we're gonna have uh, the sauna and then uh, dinner and then we sleep. <laughs> oh really? Oh that's fantastic. Little did I know I was going to live the best experience I have ever had in my life. While we were driving, I could only imagine what the city looked like if it's snowing or during spring. So yes, you guessed it, this is where I will be spending my honeymoon. So, we made it 10 minutes from uh, Sisis. And now we're gonna have a sauna session, so we'll see that, but uh, it looks nice. I'm gonna show you the inside. We had a sauna master welcome us with tea and some healthy drinks. The place itself just looks very cozy. And our healing sessions lasted four hours. Sauna in this area, like in these territories, are more than 5,000 years. Wow. And uh, for Latvians, uh, also Asian Latvian, sauna was uh, also like a spiritual, mm, oh. uh, like, um, uh, like feeling. Thank you. 
guys or girls guys and girls so eventually yes I'm gonna go for the sauna thing uh, we have a sauna master and it's actually a thing here people study it for like three years so I am looking forward to live the experience and uh, I will tell you how I feel once we're done you think of one thing you want to change or give up and you throw it into the fire and then you go into the sauna you lie and relax on some flowers and bird trees branches which was very refreshing to smell. During those four hours, not only did our master Evia help us clean our bodies, but also our souls. When it was my turn, Evia told me I had trouble letting go of what was holding me back, like there was a battle inside of me, which was true. Then we ran out into the freezing cold lake. It was crazy, but the good kind of crazy. We ended this with honey and strawberry body scrub, and then we showered and had some rest in the sitting area. Guys, this is my post sauna face. It felt uh, amazing. And uh, this is uh, Evia, oh, our master. <laughs> I will leave the link if you ever want to come to Cecis and live this experience. Uh, you can find the Facebook page and the website. And it's amazing. I'm telling you, I'm going to be back. <laughs> Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. You were amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> And after a long, beautiful day, it was time to have dinner. So guys, we made it for dinner. And like, I need to tell you that the bread here is like so, so good. Uh, oh my God. I have never tasted something like this, never. So, bread. I mostly had vegetarian food on the first day. And I can tell you, food in Cessis and in Latvia in general is so good. Vegetables are so fresh and the flavor is something else. Uh, then we have uh, sunchokes and uh, black salsa pie, which are pickled and smoked in juniper. Wow. Uh, then black prune chocolate puree, beetroot powder and sancho skin chips. A bit of uh, dill oil. Thank you. Oh, thank thank you. you. Thank you. Guys, that's it for day one. We just made it to our hotel, which looks pretty nice. So yeah, let's go and check it inside. We had this whole beautiful hotel for ourselves. After a long resting night, I woke up early to enjoy the view. The hotel is so cozy that it instantly makes you feel like home. And it has an interesting history, so make sure to ask the owner about it. It's time for a room tour. Who wouldn't want to wake up to such beautiful view when it's snowing or when the weather is so beautiful during spring? With no noise, so you just come here to relax. And then, it was breakfast time. The one night I spent at Carmueza Manor Hotel was more than beautiful, a charming hotel, and for breakfast, I ate quite a lot. have a lot to do in uh, Cisis in Latvia um, this is the hotel it's beautiful and um, I just woke up very early to enjoy you know the view the amazing view from the windows 
Oh my god, the breakfast store is amazing. The owner is like so super nice. Um, so yeah, I'm just loving it. I will definitely be back, like that's for sure. <laughs> Then it was time to explore more of Sasis. We were heading to have a bread making workshop at a local bakery where most of the locals get their bread. Uh, you are welcome inside. Thank you. Inside from inside. <laughs> <laughs> Latvian bread is made of natural elements, and watching it getting done was fun. Our tour with Sesis Tourism Board continued with interesting talks. Then we went to the park to see black swans. It was the first time for me in my life to see a swan at all. Sesis described in one word is city of art. We visited the art gallery and it was really interesting to get to know Yanis, an artist with incredible pieces of art and about how he spent years and years building his own house and it was a masterpiece of art itself. There should be a movie about him and his wife Sally. So I invite you to do some research because their love story is so inspiring. The tour wasn't done yet because we were heading to an incredible place. Guys, our next uh, stop is a wood exhibition. I don't know what that is, but I'm very excited. And Latvia is known for having a lot of woods, many trees. So we're gonna see what's that about. I'm still with my people. So. Dali National Park now. <laughs> yeah. Like a painted home and then bring here. But he lived here wow. for uh, some weeks. Yeah. And he lived there and, and paint. But it was 10 years ago, uh, one artist uh, it was. But this uh, exhibition is from several artists who are locals. Uh, basic, they are uh, born in Sesis or somehow connected with Sesis. And uh, this uh, summer was like a summer camp. camp. These paintings were built here in the woods and what's really interesting is that they will stay here for years and the colors will change from a season to another when it snows or when it's so sunny and it's so fascinating. Our next stop was lunch at Villa Senta. So we are having lunch at this beautiful hotel that has also a restaurant and that is cool and uh, yeah oh my god like oh my god who wouldn't want to stay here it's so beautiful and like and there's music outside <laughs> yeah so that's cool food was so delicious i had fish this time and the rest of the food was so good as well We had a room tour. Villa Santa is a beautiful four stars hotel. After the rest we had, it was time to leave for our next and final stop, which is the candy workshop. We made chickpeas candy with chocolate, a weird combination that I would never think of. A for animal. <laughs> Coming up nicely. Oh. But now you can put on... Uh... This is the one I made. <laughs> you know I'm not good with decorating, so mine didn't look so good, but it tasted pretty nice. After a couple of hours of making and eating the candies, we headed back to Riga. <laughs> 